Dayton, Ohio. Well, Barack Obama issued a statement praising the pick as a sign that, quote, old barriers are falling. He and his running mate Joe Biden suddenly found themselves shoved off center stage by this announcement. Obama will be on stage with Hillary Clinton today. They are both at a memorial service for a congresswoman in Cleveland. Observers will be watching to see if they've really put their differences behind them. Well, the political drama between Obama and Clinton is just one of the reasons why the Democratic Convention was so closely watched by political pundits. So how did the convention come off to observers from around the world? Well, we're joined by Nigerian Senator Ike Ekwaramado from Washington. He's one of five Nigerian senators invited to this convention. Thank you very much for joining us, Mr. Senator. So what are your impressions after watching this convention? What are you going to take home? Well, it was quite impressive. Um let me start by thanking uh, the NDI for making it possible for me to be part of that uh, convention. The National Democratic Institute uh, organized the International Leaders Forum, which I attended with the other world leaders. And uh, as part of the uh, uh, program, uh, we go to the convention center to uh, watch the um, convention program every evening. So now your country is going through reforms, electoral reforms after a controversial election. What are you going to take home? What is the single most important uh, impression and advice uh, that uh, you would go home and say we could change things in this way? Yes, uh, I use the opportunity of the International Leaders Forum to meet with uh, Madam Albright, uh, who monitored the Nigerian election, and uh, she came up with her own impressions. I assured her that uh, we are doing everything possible to uh, improve our system. And uh, the opportunity of witnessing the, the uh, Democratic Convention afforded me uh, uh, also um, the, a window to uh, witness what uh, the internal democracy is like in America. So we intend to improve our internal democracy uh, when we get back home. We will have an opportunity of um, uh, sharing our experience uh, with our colleagues at home such uh, that um, in future elections we ensure that uh, the voters at the level of the, the primaries of the parties uh, get involved just like uh, the American uh, system where we can uh, go from state to state, hold our primaries, and uh, the candidates uh, will uh, have opportunity of meeting with these delegates. Uh, we either make commitments to the delegates or they come to the convention, and then they vote, and then their vote will count. In your country, there is a huge outpouring of support for Barack Obama, so much so that there is a group actually which raised money for him, and the Obama campaign had to say that it's illegal according to the U.S. Constitution for outside groups to contribute so they can't accept this money. How do you explain this Obama phenomenon? Well, um Obama represents uh, the face of change, and we in uh, Nigeria, not just uh, Nigeria alone, but we in, in Africa, believe that uh, an Ob Ob Obama presidency will uh, bring uh, uh, Africa closer to the American, American uh, administration, because we believe that uh, America has so much to offer to the world, and, uh, and we believe that the Obama presidency represents uh, the face of a new American foreign policy. We are hoping that uh, there is a uh, presidency will also help us uh, to institutionalize our democracy and uh, uh, help us in other, uh, other many, many ways as a developing country. So um, it's uh, for us uh, a lifetime opportunity uh, to uh, get involved uh, with a higher level of uh, democratic ideals. What, what if John McCain wins? Well, um, if John McCain wins, of course, uh, we've had um, a long-standing relationship with America. So, but um, yeah, we believe that usually in a, a democratic, um, when we have a democratic a, a presidency from the Democratic Party, there is usual um, uh, intense relations be uh, between uh, Africa and uh, the government in Washington. So, we do hope that we see that also in uh, Obama's presidency. But if um, uh, McCain do, do win. We don't expect anything to change in terms of our approach, our attitude to the American government. All right, Senator Ike Ekwaramadu, thank you so much for speaking with us. My pleasure. Well, from Denver, Colorado, CNN's extensive coverage of the U.S. political convention moves to the U.S. state of Minnesota. The Republican National Convention begins on Monday in Minneapolis, St. Paul, and our own Jonathan Mann and Aisha Sese will be reporting live. And each night of the convention, we will have five hours of live coverage and analysis beginning at 2200 GMT. Thailand's Prime Minister vows that he will not quit, but the protesters who have occupied his compound said that they won't quit either. 
Protesters clashed with riot police the day before, but now they're getting ready for more clashes. They call the government corrupt and demand that the prime minister resign, something he says he won't do. I am here to confirm to you all, with the people, that I, Mr. Samak Sanue, Prime Minister, will still do my duty. And